Hey everybody, Jake Reichbart here. Today I'm going to share with you a lengthy lesson excerpt. So have your guitars ready and we're going to have some fun together arranging a song. Perhaps you've seen some of my many hundreds of solo guitar arrangements I have here on YouTube and the inspiration for these arrangements is right here behind me as you can see. I grew up with this with these vinyls and uh, I draw pretty much from any kind of style imaginable from the pop music of the past hundred years. Everything from Glenn Miller to Van Halen, Alan Holdsworth to Motown, and pretty much anything in between. Beatles, I have perhaps uh, 25 Beatles song arrangements, 20 Steely Dan song arrangements, same for uh, Stevie Wonder, rock, hard rock, D Deep Purple, Led Zeppelin, and of course tons and tons of classic jazz standards from the 40s and 50s, bebop, dance tunes, movie themes. And if you want to learn how to arrange any of these songs for solo guitar, I can teach you. Just like the excerpt that you're about to watch, which comes from a lesson that runs about 90 minutes, I have nearly 200 additional titles and they are mostly song specific. I enjoy teaching through specific songs because I can show you hands-on how I approach arranging a song. What's nice about these lessons is that I don't just tell you do this and you're done, but rather I'll take you through three or four or five different ways to play the same passage. I'll work with you on dynamics, on articulation, and a hundred other things that you cannot just put to paper. As I mentioned, these lessons run approximately 90 minutes. The introduction, which runs usually 15 minutes, focuses on the right hand and rhythm. And in this introduction, I go through my three pillars of rhythmic arranging. The first principle being melody and bass only. The second being rhythmic arpeggiation. And the third, of course, the down stroke that I play with my right hand fingernails to produce that backbeat that everybody asks me about. Nevertheless, I do have two main method lessons. The first one, how to arrange any song for solo guitar running two hours, and also an introduction to fingerstyle guitar and solo guitar arranging running two hours and 40 minutes. The information about these lessons, the cost, my full lesson list, as well as a link to the full performance of the song that we're working on today is below in the information. So expand the information, take a look, and let's get started. So here we are playing a very basic D major chord, not really a jazz chord, it's an open position strum style chord that we all know. I use the open D string, I also play of course the A, the D, and F sharp on top. And I pick out the melody notes, D and F sharp. What happens now is that this A moves down to an A flat, but I keep the rest and I pluck out the other, the next three melody notes, which are going to be the F sharp, open E, and repluck the D. So together. Next chord is a D, add nine, also in the open position, taking advantage of that nice open string sound. And I play D, I'm sorry, C in the bass with my second finger, the E, or sometimes I just do without. It can be either the D or the E because the, the E is the three, the D is just the ninth. But we also already have another D here, so you can play it together, your choice. Then I have an open G, a D, and an E. And the melody notes over this chord are the E and two D notes. And then I return to, to D, the chord D, and the D melody note. So at this exact moment, I really only have three notes. D, a and D. Putting it all together. I'm going to do it with a little bit more rhythm and with some arpeggiation.
And towards the end of that phrase, I play these two melody notes, D, F sharp, and these are the pickup notes to this next melody note with a new chord. And that melody note is an A that I play with my pinky on the first string, fifth fret, along with an F sharp minor chord, and that chord is played in the second position. F sharp, E, A, and C sharp. And I play this melody note twice, arpeggiate, but let's leave that out for now. Uh, B minor 7 in the same position, second position, so B, F sharp, A, and D. And I should mention, uh, we are now in a diatonic system, as I mentioned. We're right in the key, so we can... Every chord we're going to play now has a number. So your D is the one chord. This is a three chord, because... Uh, those are the seven chord degrees, so th this is your three. And that's your six. So, anyway... sharp, E, but I slide into it a la Pat Metheny. It's kind of what I hear or imagine that I'm hearing, that Pat Metheny little slide. So E, but I kind of come into it from the F. And that's still while I'm on the B minor 7. And it's okay to let go of the rest of the chord if you can't do this. Just, just do that by itself. Because it's okay in solo guitar not to play a full chord every second, every moment of the arrangement. You can let go of it sometimes. Next chord is a G major 7, and you can play it in different ways. This way has a nice open string in the middle. At any rate, the melody note is a D. And the next melody note is going to be the B. So, so I started with this, which has the D, an open G, an F sharp on the fourth string, fourth fret, and the G in the bass. So if I want the B next, I can either lift this finger to the open B, or add it on the third string, or just play this this variation of the chord. I like this better, because you get that nice sound of the open string blended with the fretted notes, and also this minor second. That sound is really nice. And then I add the B. And finally to an A. And when I play this A, it's over an A chord, but with a twist, because I also have the D, so it's kind of a suspended. And I also play the G with my pinky, which is the seventh. Finally, I lift that suspension. So from here, and I do this slide here too. And notice that there was no melody there, so I keep arpeggiating. I take it from the top right now. <laughs> 